I was doing everybody wrong because I was like, this is what I'm missing. I want to date everybody. I want to see what my type is. I want to see what type of girl I like. I don't know what type of lesbian I am. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new episode of Glam and Gossip. Today's Glam is sponsored by Nadula. Um, so today I have this kinky um, U-part wig, but I don't think that I actually want to do a U-part wig. I love this texture and I wanna see if I can make this like um, a messy ponytail. So that's today's glam. Today's gossip is going to be about how I knew that I was a lesbian. Like the question that you guys asked on my Instagram is how did you find out you were a lesbian? I think it's so funny how y'all ask that question because you're asking it like, <laughs> like I discovered like a journal somewhere that was like, you're a lesbian. Like the way that you guys frame the question is hilarious, but I know what you guys mean, and that is what we are going to talk about today. So I know that the main question that most people have when they talk to girls who are lesbians is, um, you know, wondering if you have ever been with a man before. Sidebar, I'm not gonna put gel in my hair because I don't want my hair to be like sleek and then the U-part wig is like kinky. So I'm just gonna brush my hair up. Um, but anyway, Yes, I have been with men before. It's been years since I've been with a man. I would have to say it's probably been 10 years. I'm 30, I've been with Amy for about six years. Before I was with Amy, it's been eight to 10 years since I've been with a man. I wanna say 10, but I don't wanna lie. I think it's been 10, but I, I'll settle for eight. But anyway, yes, I have been um, with a man before. In fact, I had a boyfriend for like five years. I started dating him in high school and then into college. And honestly, he kept cheating on me and it was a lot going on. So him and I ended up breaking up. But when we were together, he always said, I think that you're a lesbian. I used to always like, talk about the girls that I found attractive in high school. Um, at one point I tried to get him, I was trying to get him. It's so funny cause it's usually the other way around. I was trying to get him to have a threesome um, with another girl. And it's, it's just so funny because he used to always tell me um, that I was a lesbian and I used to just be like, you're crazy, you're crazy, you're crazy. But I know that I was always attracted to girls, always. I had thoughts in probably first grade that I would think like a teacher was cute. Um, and I just thought that I was weird. I used to hold hands with this girl in high school every day and people thought that we were holding hands because we were best friends. But no, y'all, I was holding her hand because I was gay. If anybody from high school is watching, I was gay. I did not act on my feelings for girls until, I don't know what year it was, but it was my first job. I used to work at H&M and there was this girl that had just moved there that I had like a major crush on, um, but I didn't think she liked me. And then one day she kind of just like asked me for my number. I gave her my number and we started like flirting like via text and that was the first time that I ever had butterflies like that. So I knew that it was, I, I know people have told me this before, but I think I'm gay. Ooh, I hope this works because this is, this would be so cute. I'm gonna have to use a lot of bobby pins to hold this in place because since it's a U-part wig, it's a lot of hair and it's very heavy. Yeah, so anyway, the girl and I um, were just like flirting via text. And then of course, like it turned into, oh, come chill with me. 
and I thought she was cute. So I went to go chill with her. Um, and then that turned into making out and sexual situations. And the very first time that I acted in a physical way on another girl, I saw stars. Like I was like, I, I honestly felt like that I had been wasting my time dealing with men. I was like, like every time that I would deal with men, I always felt like something was missing, but I always thought like, okay, maybe it's just, you're not dating the right guy. When it had nothing to do with the guy, I just didn't like men. I just didn't like men. And I didn't want to admit that to myself. And of course, this was like my first um, love when it came to being a girl. So of course the girl broke my heart, but it did introduce me to the fact that I knew that I did not want to deal with men anymore. I'm going to get kind of like, not graphic for, for a second, but I'm going to get grown for a second. So hopefully if you're watching this, you're 18 plus. But, um, you know, when people like ask about, which this is a very personal question. You shouldn't ask anybody you don't know about their sex life. Um, but when people ask about my sex life, they're like, oh, like, you don't miss dick or don't lesbians use strap-ons when... No, just to be clear, all lesbians don't use chef wands. Um, actually, I I could go without penetration. There's other ways to make me climax without. So I, I don't need that in order to be, you know, sexually pleased. I don't know why people think that that is the case. So anyway, my sexuality actually has absolutely zero anything to do with a man, period. In fact, when I was with men, I enjoyed sex. I didn't have like, oh, sex was so bad, or I had horrible situations with men. That wasn't the case at all. I just could not see myself going any further than sex with a man. So I felt as though, why do I continue giving myself to people when I know it's not gonna go anywhere. And it took me until my first lesbian experience to realize how much that I felt like I had wasted my time with men. Like, not even wasted my time, wasted their time. Because there's some men right now that hate me. I led them on, made them think that, you know, we were gonna be together and that I really liked them. And I knew that I didn't. I knew that I did it, but I just didn't. I just thought it was me. Like, what's wrong with me that all these men are, you know, trying to give me the world and they're trying to be with me. They're trying to marry me. And I just don't feel the same way at all. It's probably some girls out here that hate me too, because once that girl had broke my heart and I started just dating girls, I was doing everybody wrong because I was like, this is what I'm missing. I want to date everybody. I want to see what my type is. I want to see what type of girl I like. I don't know what type of lesbian I am. But in the process, I know that I hurt a lot of people. And that was not my intent. So if I fucked you over and you're watching this, I'm sorry. I didn't know who I was. I was trying to find myself. Okay, this is cute. I wonder if I can make it a bun, like a messy bun. Let me see. I feel like it might be too much hair, but let me try. Unfortunately, me trying to discover myself and trying to figure out what type of, you know, lesbian I was, and that was kind of overshadowed by coming out, like, to my family. Um, I've done a video about this already, actually, with my mother about how I came out. My parents, well, not my parents, just my mom. She, we're great now. She loves Amy. We've had numerous conversations about this and prayed about this. But, you know, when I first came out, my mom is very, very religious and she was not having it. She was like, you know, I didn't raise a gay daughter. Um, she just didn't want to speak to me anymore. Imagine just discovering your sexuality and just discovering like who you are and then 
trying to maneuver life as basically a new person and then also having to deal with the fallout of, you know, the person that's closest to you. I'm very close to my mom. So it was devastating when I told her that and I didn't get immediate support. But I also had to realize that, you know, and I'm not saying that this is an, this is an excuse, but you know, our parents grew up in a different time than we did. A lot of things are more widely accepted now than they were when our parents were our age. You know, what I'm doing would not have been deemed normal when my mother was my age. And she's way more religious than me. I believe in God, but I do not, you know, attend church. I don't, it's, it's just too judgmental for me. So I guess if the question really kind of is, you know, how did you know you were a lesbian? I feel like I kind of always knew but I never acted on it until years later. So I kind of just feel like, you know, if you're in a situation like me and you're questioning like your sexuality, don't wait until it's too late. I'm glad that I didn't wait until, you know, some people wait until they're 50 to act on something that they have been feeling since they were younger. And I don't want anybody to go through that. Um, that's not to say that I regret my life choices, I mean, but every everything works out for a reason because I'm with my soulmate now and who's to know if I would have took a different path, maybe I wouldn't have ended up with my girlfriend. I had to back up because the bun is so big that when I come close, you can't see it. See my bun? It looks like my hair. It looks like my hair. Since this is a U-part wig and I'm wearing it as a ponytail and as a bun, you want to put enough bobby pins in that you're just making sure that it's secure because i don't want it to fall off my head i feel like i could if i wanted to sit here and talk for days to you guys about different experiences i had when i became a lesbian but i kind of just wanted to stick to the actual question that was at hand. Also know that all of this is very, very fascinating to a lot of people. So if anybody has any questions about my journey, you can definitely ask me in the comments. I will not get offended as long as you're respectful. If you're going through something similar and you wanna talk, I'm here for that too, because I went through a lot before I discovered myself and I wish that I had someone to talk to, um, but I didn't. I actually really like this whole like little messy bun situation. Do y'all like this? This looks like my hair. Like this actually looks like my hair. And I have like little like sporadic. It looks like it was an accident, but it's still cute. Thank you to Nadula Hair for sponsoring this episode of Glam and Gossip. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, we're going to have discussions in the comments, so let me know what you think. Thanks for tuning into this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!